Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to another one-off seven days challenge episode. We're here at Munch's Plaza, which is a tier four POI. It's night 35 and we're about to have a zombie horde. And while that's happening, we're gonna try and do a restore power job at this location. So that should be pretty interesting. We're loaded up though for the most part. Got an AK, shotgun, pistol, steel club, throwables, decent amount of ammo and some first aid. So hopefully that's enough to get us through this. I don't know how many generators there are here. I've never done a restore power job at this location before, but we're going to find out. And not only do we have to restore the power to the generators, we also have to clear this place of zombies. And, of course, the zombie horde as well. So I'm sure we'll be here well into the morning. We can't fire this job up yet, though. Not until hour 22, which is also the same time the zombie horde starts. But while we're waiting, check this out. Look at that cute little son of a bitch. That's right. I have partnered with U2s to bring you guys an official Glock 9 Zombie Plush. It's going to be available on their website starting October 24th. I will share that link with you once I have it. There's only going to be a 14-day window to pre-order this thing, and then that's it. There are no minimums or maximums, and yes, there is international shipping. U2s is also doing a giveaway right now, so you can follow the giveaway link down below. It will take you here, and then you just click here to enter, and there are four ways to enter. You can do one entry or all four by following them on Twitter or visiting them on YouTube, Reddit, or Instagram. And we're also going to be doing separate giveaways on Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you follow me there so you don't miss it. My handle is at Glock9Gamer. Okay, here we go. Horde is starting. We got to get this job done. There is one generator. So that's not too bad. Wood steps. Uh, okay. Close that door. How are we looking up here? More steps? Well, you know what? Let's get some kills right here. Where are they at? Oh, they're beating through the wall right there. Okay. Let's get a pipe bomb or two. Down there. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? Let's knock these steps out. Oh. Fuck off. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I blew it. I should have knocked the first set of steps out right away. Oh, we're in trouble. Uh, I gotta knock this out. No, oh, no. Not good. Not good, not good. Okay. Uh, there's a bomb right there. A little landmine. Oh, someone stepped on it. Where's that bird? Did the bird get killed by the explosion? Oh my god, we're bleeding out already. One first aid bandage down. 30 seconds in. <laughs> oh, maybe we can get these cops to explode. Oh, man. There goes one. I mean, my plan off the bat was, like, get to the rooftop, try and make it so the zombies can't get up to you, and then we'll, you know, regain composure. That did not work out. Get... Man. Okay. Let's go this way. Let her rip, bitch. Beautiful. That's fun. We're having fun, at least. That's all that matters. It's fun. There goes another one. Nice. Starting to feel better about this already. We need to make sure the zombies do not have a way up to this rooftop. Right now, I think there are two ways. There's a uh, fire escape. Holy shit. I didn't know you were so close to me. Damn, dude. Uh, there's a fire escape right here, which I believe there's a ladder leading up to that. And then there's the stone ramp that we came up. Which, why aren't any zombies coming up the stone ramp? What, they destroyed it on their own? They did. Thanks, zombs. Okay, we gotta get rid of this ladder leading up to the fire escape. And then at least the rooftop will be our little safe haven. Let's do one more. Okay, we can breathe a little easier now. 
Holy shit. That was wild. There's a blue loot bag right there. Bunch of zombies right here. Let's see if we can get some cops to blow up. Oh, that guy just dropped. Here's a whole bunch more, though. There we go. I suspect we might get some demolishers. We're pretty high level, high game stage. Ooh, 100 rounds and 9mm. That'll help out. I don't know what they're getting electrocuted on, but the power is right below us. I mean, the generator, anyway. So it's up here. So if we can knock that ladder out, and any other way the zombies have to get up here, we can get that power turned on. Otherwise, we're just gonna have to kill the entire horde first. Let's piss these cops off. At least we're, uh, we're safe up here, it seems. How are we gonna get that ladder knocked out? Shit. I can get a shot at it from here, but I don't think bullets do damage to ladders. Bullets go through ladders, don't they? Oh, boy. Oh, there's another ladder over there, leading up to that apartment. So, I mean, we could jump down there, try and knock the ladder out, and then get up that way. But that is very risky. If we can get some cops over here, maybe we can piss them off enough to where they blow up and destroy the ladder. That would be ideal. Where are all the cops at? I don't know what they keep getting electrocuted on. Must be a vending machine around somewhere. Cause it can't be the generator. There's no power. That's the whole point of this fucking mission, is to turn the power on. We got cops by the ladder. Wait, stay over here. Shit. Uh, you know what? Let's get back into this position. Wait, don't run away. There's one, down there. Get mad. I, I can't hear. If this guy's pissed, I'm too far away, so I just gotta take it slow here. I don't wanna kill him. There he goes! Well, there's a couple pieces of the ladder missing. These lumberjacks aren't going for it. So maybe that's enough. Alright, one way up is destroyed. Maybe that'll slow him down enough to where I can get the power turned on. Oh shit, what is going on in there? That can't be good. I want to get down there, take a look at this generator, and just like what we're dealing with. Oh crap. That is not good at all. Okay. Well. I mean, we're just gonna have to clear this this place out. Look, and they are getting up that ladder still. So, that wasn't good enough. Cops! See if we can do this again. Come on, one of you blow up. Yes, there goes the ladder, completely gone. We don't have to worry about that area anymore. I'm getting down there. Seems kind of quiet. Oh, well, it did anyway. Should we try and fire this thing up? Oh, shit. Maybe not. Oh, fucking bird. Are they all stuck in here? This AK needs to be repaired. I'm trying it. Come on. Oh, okay. That's a bad idea. I mean, the job requires us to clear the area anyway. So even if I got the generator turned on, the job would not be done until we kill all the zombies. So, might as well kill the zombies first.
All right, I think I'm gonna take that first aid kit I have. That'll get us back to full health. And then I still got a painkiller and two first aid bandages. I also have uh, honey and uh, vitamin in case we get infected or fatigued. Now it's pretty clear at this point that they cannot get up to where we are. So we just have to hope we have enough ammo and throwables to uh, get rid of all of them. And then we can fire up the generator, go through the POI, clear out any zombies that might be remaining, and we'll be done. This overhang right here, that's my only way back up if I fall down there, so I'd like to see what the hell's going on in this little window. How the zombies are getting up there. Because if it's like something I could knock out, I'd like to do that. Oh, it's this fucking table. Is that it? Are we good? Because, you know, if I fall down here, that's my only way back up. This is stupid. I don't know why. After everything I just said. Yeah. Screw this shit. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, we got loot bags. So, possible more first aid and ammo. Oh, my God. No. Not good. Get up. Out of the way, lumberjack. Okay. Fuck. Uh, we're infected. No big deal, though. We got the honey. Let's eat it. Might as well use the painkiller, too. That won't get us back to full, but it'll be close. Let's have a look in here. Uh, what if we jump right there? Oh, shit. Well, bullets would be nice. Oh, I don't even have any. Uh, let's get right back up. Okay, no more 762. That's out. Uh, unless we can pick more up in one of these loot bags, but uh, I'm not concerning myself with that right now. Okay, with that block gone, they shouldn't be able to get up here. What are you doing now, you pricks? Look at that. They always find a way, don't they? They're like the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. They can't seem to hit me yet, though, so I'm just going to keep blasting them. It's getting a little crazy now. Okay. Time to go. And a bird. Fuck that. Gotta know when to make a break for it. Oh, shit. We're on fire. I got water. We're okay. Did I kill that bird? I think so. I fucking hit it square in the face with a Molotov. What if we uh, get up over there? Oh, well, they can definitely get to me. But if we can defend this area for a moment, it would be good. Because with the shotgun, we want to be up close for it to do the most damage. Come on. Here we go. Just make this work for as long as possible. And then we'll bail. Oh, that was beautiful. Extended tube mag, baby. Ah, uh, they made their own, like, little steps right here. So, not much we can do. Unless we can knock all these blocks out. <laughs> I don't see that happening. And I thought about bringing frames with me, like maybe some cobblestone blocks, but I decided against it. Let's get some fire in there. I mean, if this was a series, I wanted this to be a challenge, right? If I was crazy enough to try this during a series, then I would bring every advantage I can get, you know? Which I might do it in Cabin by the Lake still. That, this is where the, the idea came from. I was going to do this in Cabin by the Lake, but I decided to do a one-off challenge video first because I didn't want to risk the entire series on doing something stupid like this, you know? I think at least in the one-off, if we die tonight, we don't lose the whole series. 
I mean, I still might try it in the series. I just want to get a little further down the line. There's still a lot I want to accomplish in Cabin by the Lake, and I'd hate for it to end early just because I'm trying to challenge myself even further. I mean, look how quick shit hit the fan here. We got lucky. We were able to cut the zombies off from the rooftop. It's officially morning. That's good. At least the, the horde will stop spawning in now. So we just got to deal with what we have left. Get the job done. Now this is a tier 4 POI. I'm not 100% sure if they do restore power jobs at tier 5 POIs yet. But I'm going to check. And if they do, I am going to try this again, but at a tier 5. See how that goes. And at a higher level, too. So we have even a bigger horde. Because unfortunately, we didn't get any demolishers tonight. Kind of a shame. Got him. Oh, shit. That was a demolisher. Look at this. Speak of the devil. Give me that button. Got it. <laughs> nice. Dude, this would have been so much more fun if there was a whole bunch of those around all night. Coming around, dog? Yes, you are. Oh, shit. Got a little train heading this way. Let's light him on fire. AK would be nice. Should go through these loot bags. See if I can find some 7.62 ammo. Shotgun shells. Painkiller. Eh, nothing useful. First aid kit and more shotgun shells. There's some 7.62. I think we're pretty clear up here now, though. Bam! Power is on. Now we need to clear the area and we're done. I'll drink that coffee. Uh, easiest way to do this is probably start at the beginning and just work our way through the POI and find any zombies that we missed. Hello? Zombies? I think we go downstairs at this point. I know it's hard to tell, like all the walls are blown open, all doors are opened up and shit. Here we are. Well, <laughs> there goes the 7-6-2. Come on, buddy, you know what? Fuck it, do your thing. That's it. Job's done. We did it. It was wild. Get out of here, lady. But we pulled it off. That's crazy. I think tier four is like the perfect uh, size for a restore power job, especially when taking on a zombie horde. Very uh, difficult. Can be very challenging. A lot of fun, though. Tier five, if it's possible. I don't know. I mean, I'll try it. But a tier 5 restore power at the Dishong Tower during a horde, it sounds crazy, but you could probably cut the zombies off at a certain point pretty easily in the Dishong Tower. And there wouldn't be much to it other than, you know, clearing the entire Dishong Tower in one go would be challenging in and of itself. We'll see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 7 Days to Die Mayhem, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.